Hey guys, what's up? What's going on, lads, ladies, boys, and girls? Cruise. So today we're we'll opening up this Sword and Shield Fusion Strike Elite Trader Box. I am finally, finally doing this box. I've had this one for a while now, but um, I have been yet to been able to open it. Um, but I'm glad that I'm gonna be able to open it today. Um, I really am happy about that. So this is really, really cool that we'll be able to open up this bad boy. Um, so. Uh, you guys know Elite Trader Boxes, they're my favorite boxes. Personally, I have opened up basically, like, most Elite Trader Boxes, like, fucking and since Sword and Shield upwards. But, let's just get right into it and open up this bad boy. Um, before we start, thank you guys so much for all the support. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, it really means the world to me. Uh, and it helps support the channel. Um, also check out the TikTok um the instagram and those two social medias i haven't been uploading as much as i want to but that's just because i've been kind of busy i have been posting on the gaming channel so if you guys are interested in the halo infinite campaign um stuff check that out i have literally like six uh pre-recorded videos all being at least 30 something minutes i already have the first episode the second episode should be going up today um uh, or should have gone up by the time this video goes up that's the that's the word the keyword um so that's super cool um as well as the lego channel link down in the description so let's just get right into it so this is what the elite trainer box they go for about 40 bucks i paid 40 dollars for it um so yeah let's just get right into this bad boy fusion strike um a good set i don't think it's the best set or anywhere near it um but you know Oh, I do like the colors of this, though. This is a nice color. That's cool. I will show that everything in a second. We're going to start with this thing. This doesn't seem like anything from the start, but it actually has a nice little poster, which hopefully I don't can't rip because I've been ripping it the last few times. I did not rip it this time. Good shit. And you can actually take the glue off. It comes out really nicely. Oh, that's satisfying as hell. Oh, that's good. That's amazing. All right. This is the the nice little thing comes up with. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nothing too shabby. Nothing too crazy. But that's nice. I think I have to give it a tiny bit of value. You, of course, get this booklet. Um, I say the best part about this booklet is probably just being able to look at the cards. They're in this set. Um, what cards you can need. What cards you might want. This Rileyboom VMAX. I haven't even seen. That's a nice art. Uh... Oh, Chandelier VMAX is actually a kind of nice art as well. Okay, okay, some cards I might want. Cinerace V does not look pretty. <laughs> uh, Inteleon VMAX. Uh, there is a Pikachu V. I would definitely want that Pikachu V if I haven't already got it. I don't believe I have. If I'm not mistaken. Um, there's a View VMAX. There's a View Me. Mew V. Um, nothing too crazy there. Nothing too crazy here. <gasps> there's a Lucario V in this set? I want this Lucario so bad. What the fuck, man? I didn't know there was a Lucario V. All right, well, we need to pull this card. That's the card I want most now. That is the card I want from Fusion Strike. I need to I need to get more Fusion Strike. I didn't even know this set wasn't... I didn't want to open up this box because... Uh, this set because uh, we've already op got basically like almost every card from the set that I wanted. Um, but I did not even know there's a Lucario V in this set. And we already opened up an entire booster box. This Genesis V is actually very playable. So it actually has a high value. Which is very interesting. Uh, towards the back, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy here again. Um, we gotta go into the ultra rares. Ooh, Celebi V. Alternate art. That is pretty. Um, there's an alternate art Mew V. Genesis alternate art. Santa Cona alternate art V, which I think we have pulled. We did pull this one as well. The Halupa Hoopa V. I love Hoopa. I don't know why, but I think he's a really cool Pokemon. That'd be some nice cards. The Mew VMAX is a really good one. Espeon VMAX would be a nice one. Gengar VMAX would be nice. And they also do have... I Basically, anything that's above a full art, I would probably still want. Um, specifically, these two energies that are gold, gold cards. These are probably the ones. If I'm going for any Rainbow Rares, uh, I might might go for the Mew V Rainbow Rare, I think. Any Trainer cards? I might go for this one. I think it looks the best. But, you know. I want some pretty cool cards. You also get, of course, a nice little Pokemon trading card game rule book. Just teaches you how to play in the rules. 
45 sleeves. I'm not taking this out. It's 45 sleeves. Uh, I don't believe they have fair in here anymore. You get four dividers. This is what they look like. They're made out of these hard cardboard. I like this color, man. This is a nice color. I do like this color, right? I appreciate it. You get 45 sleeves. 40, 60? 65? 65 sleeves. 60 for a deck. Five extra. Um... They're very durable. They are standard legal um, for most tournaments. Um, so that's really dope. Um, they fit a little loose on cards. This is the regular size of a card. Uh, so you can put a penny sleeve and then put this inside. And then these do fit inside top loaders as well as, um, what's it called? Um, binders. They are, you might ruin these if you're using this for binders. I would not recommend those for binders. If you're gonna use this to play, be careful. They're not the most durable. They look pretty. They are going to protect their cards, but they won't la not last too long. So, if you care about your sleeves, just be careful with these. Um, again, if you're going to use, like, uh, if you're going to play with your cards a lot, you're going to, you know, uh, really use them for play, just buy sleeves for play. I think these are more decorative than they are durable. Of course, you do get a TCG code. Uh, wait, no. Pokemon TCG Game Live code. But this is redeemable on the Pokemon TCG Live. I mean, uh, Pokemon TCG Online currently. So that's still a plus. What else do we get in here? Oh, yeah, of course. Poison and burn counters. Because we can never get enough of these. And dice. So you do get here uh, some nice dice. I will take these out for you guys. I actually kind of like these colors. This is a really nice color combination is like a light blue it is translucent i kind of really like it man i like this die i think it works well and you get these ones right here of course they're kind of like a marbling effect which means every single die is going to be unique uh for every set also sorry about my hands i have extremely dry fingers oh my god i have i have dry fingers all right i don't use lotion i probably should Ah! Uh. All right, and you also, of course, get... Oh, what's this? Oh, I already showed you guys that. You also do get this. This is cardboard. But in my opinion, Elite Trader Box boxes are the best boxes to store cards, period. They're a nice size, which means you can store a good amount of cards. They even fit um, regular top loaders like these. They fit perfectly fine in there. You can fit a bunch of cards... Um, you can add dividers, um, which work perfectly. Um, they're perfect height. Your cards will not get damaged. Um, they're really good for storing, and they don't have excess space just to, for a weird shape, um, like the uh, uh, like the tins. I think they're amazing, and they look good, and they're decently durable. Um, and I think they're just good, man. So always have to give that a plus um, for 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 that, you know. Jesus, everything's falling apart. Yeah, I added, uh, added a massive Pikachu um, thing there. And of course, uh, the packs. Eight packs there. Um, some Elite Train boxes come with uh, ten. Most come with uh, eight. Um, and then some weird ones, let's say like Celebrations, comes with a weird amount of packs because some packs are smaller than others. But here we have eight Fusion Strike Packs. Let's just start ripping through them, man. I'm hoping to get Lucario V. And something better than the full art. Would probably be my, my, my wants. Um, don't give me another v -ma uh, v -max, uh, Mew VMAX alternate art. I might not want that. But I'll take it. I might sell it, though. One, two, three, four to the front. We turn around. Here we have a Grass Energy. Elder Goss. Power, power Tablet. Beware. Psalm. Onyx, Jigglypuff, Durant, Pantsier. All right, we have a key there. And we do get Cinderace VMAX there from the start. I did say I didn't like this card. Um, I think it looks a little stupid. Like, what is what is, what is it on? Is it just on a big fireball with a face? I'll take it. It's a VMAX. I would have rather got other VMAXs, but I'll take it. I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide next pack here oh jesus these packs are actually kind of hard to open up compared to some of the other ones i had 
Getting that, that code guarder there. One, two, three, four to the front. We turn around here. We have a fighting energy cross switcher guard of war. Um, I don't even want to say that one. Crossover, Mudkip, Sandrew, Q Fan, Impidimp, Shroomish. And we do have Electro there, non holographic rare. Nothing too crazy there. That's okay. Yes, also, if you guys are interested in watching some more Future Strike videos, um, check out the booster box. Um, it should be in my playlist as well. As if you guys are interested in watching some Elite China Box with some different sets. Ah! You guys didn't see anything. Shit. I fucked it all up. I, I You guys didn't see anything, right? I didn't see anything. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are interested in watching some more uh, Elite China Boxes, uh, check out. I, mean, I have an entire different um, playlist just for um, Elite China Boxes. So that's pretty cool. Slugma, that's a cool Slugma. Skitty. You want the Skitty? There you go. We have here. Oh, we do have a rare. Okay, it's like the gun. This is like a, it's like a B gun man. That's weird. And then we have a do have a holographic there. Pretty solid. Solid pulls, man. Solid pulls. Not too bad. I say, give me one more. Give me one more V card, and I will be good. Give me specifically Lucario V card, and I will be happy. Even though you've been giving me shit lately. Because the Pokemon company does not like me. It's not fair, man. All these people get amazing cards. I don't. But Catcher, Wiggly, uh, Tough, Shelmet. Also, if you guys are interested in just watching any other type of videos, like Hidden Fate Celebrations, maybe Primal Clash, or any of the Sword and Shield uh, things, I have booster boxes or videos on them. Um, So check that out as well. Ooh, okay. Nice. And we do have a Deoxys there. Nice. Of course, Deoxys having all three of those. I believe this card is actually worth a couple of cents. Worth more than a regular card would. So, solid. Okay. Um, We still have a couple packs left. Yeah, boys. Get this bad boy open up. One, two, three, four to the front. We still have a couple packs left. I mean, we've gotten really good uh, luck so far. Maybe, maybe today's the day, man. Maybe today is the day that we could get get some finally some really good pulls. Eevee there. Gligar. Not in there at the end, but that's okay. All right, okay, okay, okay. We got three packs left. Three packs. Oh yeah, next pack. Onyx, you fat baby. Well, he's actually not a baby. He's just a rock. He's like a rock dragon, which is interesting. Here, a psychic. Oh, nine tails there. Nice nine tails art. Farabelle, Onyx. Oh, have you guys seen the Spider Man movie? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I went to go see it the night it came out. Uh, we got last minute tickets somehow. Um, don't know how, but we did. And we got really good seats, actually. And anyway, we have nine there at the end, but that's okay. But let me guys know what you guys think. I gave it like an 8.9 out of 10. Um, not because I'm a hater. Um, just because um, if I'm comparing it to other uh, MCU fan MCU movies, say I give Endgame a 10, I can't give this this movie a, a, a 9. You feel me? High 8, but not a 9. All right, here we have a uh, Flanks, uh, Simiseer, Cross Seaver, Cater pie? Cater pie? Cater pie? Caterpie. Caterpie. Kate. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm stupid. Caterpie. Huh. I've always, I was like, I don't remember ever calling Cater pie. Voltorb. Ooh, Marilyn. There. And we do get a schoolgirl. Full trainer card. Okay. I'll allow it. Okay. I'll give this box a good. This is a good box. This is a good box. Full art. A VMAX. Two holographics. That's a good fucking box. There we go. That's some good luck. That's the luck we've been searching for. Not one of the best cards. I, I think not the one I wanted most. But this is definitely actually a really nice card. Draw two cards if your opponent has exactly two, four, or six price cards remaining. Draw two more cards. This is actually a playable card, and it looks really nice. I like this card, really pretty. I seriously do like how they do um, 
the cards nowadays full arts i still think that like primal clash has probably some of the best full art trainer cards but i'm, I'm totally biased that is a nice fucking pool man okay that was a good box oh wait we have another pack left oh i thought we were done oh damn we can pull more yeah all right this this right here this is a gengar gengar lucario if it gives me one more pull this might actually be a solid as fuck box like a good good lucky box i think i think technically right now we're past our limit on what we could get um like if we pull anything more that would be an insane box two spider meow skitty we got a skitty reverse yeah not in that damn but that's okay ah that's all right that's all right solid 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 all right, we'll show you guys all the verses that we did in the point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are the verses that we did in the point throughout today's video. Nothing too crazy there. We did get a rare there. That's pretty cool. Not too bad. All commons except one, which is rare. So our reverse slot wasn't the worst. We did actually get two holographics, which is actually really good luck for holographics. While not taking up other slots for our, our regular pools. So, that's actually really, really good luck, man. I'll take those two holographics. And, of course, we did get two different cards there. A Cinderace VMAX and a School Girl. So, those are all really, really good packs and pulls there to get. Really awesome. But, anyways, guys, that's actually it for today. you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out everything else down in the description. Subscribe to my TikTok, Instagram, gaming channel, as well as the LEGO channel, and the stream up down below. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys.